Hey everyone, oh, I'm down on Folkestone Beach tonight and I've got a plan to do two things. So, gonna be after the squid again. I know it doesn't sound very different, but I promise you, we're gonna make it a little bit different. So, same rod, same reel, but this time we're gonna use a double jig rig. So, adding one more jig onto it. Now, the way I've done that, I've just basically made like a one flapper rig, uh, a bit of fluoro down to this snood. I, don't know, I think it's a 20 pound line down to the other one and the 20 pound line has been used as like a main rig body uh, then I've set up a 13 foot beach caster as well so I've got a Shakespeare Enigma rod and a Pen Surf Blast 2 7000 long cast and on the end of that for the moment I've taken some of the squid that I caught in the last few videos and I've just put it on a 4 row pulley panel and I'm going to whack that out there, but I have the intention of catching a small squid and trying to live bait it. So I'll let you know how that goes. Just had a lot, bit of line being taken off the bait rod there. And just a strong pull down on the end of the tip. So I'm not quite sure what that could be at the moment. But I'm probably going to have a drink of water and find out. No luck on the squid yet. There's a few of us down there with the jigs, but no attacks as of yet. But yeah, this is looking a bit promising. Oh no! Damn, that was giving it a bit of a... Uh... Wow, so right everyone. I just had a very strange fight on the bait rod. I uh, weighed quite a lot of bit of line being taken and quite a lot of uh, pullback, but quite a strange one, one that I wasn't too used to. Anyway, I lost it on the way in, only a few feet out. So I sent the same rig, my pulley panel rig, and a nice big chunk of my own squid back out there. And it didn't take very long. And we've got this conger eel up on the beach here. Now we've just measured him, he weighs, uh, he measures one meter and six centimeters, wasn't it mate? 106, yeah. 106 uh, centimeters. So I'm just gonna try weigh it now, find out what he's saying. 
But yeah, absolute corker of a conga. I think that's my PB for sure. Let's get a weight on it. Right, gang, I do not trust my scales that much, but it's weighed this one in at six pounds, six ounces. So we'll go with that. Still a PB either way. But yeah, that's quite a chunky eel then. Uh, I'll pop it off the hook and then we'll get some pictures. So, my light might send the camera a bit skewed if I try to turn it down. Ah, uh, congas have got quite a powerful bite to them. So, never stick your hand in their mouth. Another thing I've just noticed, if you zoom the camera in here, I think he's got some pretty uh, hefty war wounds. I'm not sure that's just happened. I think they might be old scars. That they might bite onto each other during the mating process. And uh, these fish can swim backwards. Not many fish can do that. Not quite as impressive this time. We have a whiting on a 4 0 panel. On a bait about as half the size of him. Anyway, we'll try again. See if we can get something better than a whiting. And we've caught a dogfish. A chap earlier came and helped us get the uh, the conger off the hook there. It was quite badly hooked. And he said he was literally down here fishing for the congers. He reckons this is the right set of tides for them. And he said he'd had a couple to four pound. And obviously I think I dropped one and then I got that one just over six pound in. So it seemed to be a, a bit of a flurry of them just after the low tide. But yeah, since then, just whiting and dogfish on the bait. There's been no squid, we've been jigging away for a little while. But not got touched tonight. It's a shame because the, the water's actually quite clear. There's just a slight bit of cloud to it, but relatively clear. Good enough to see the jigs a good few feet out as they're coming in. So, God knows what's happening with them anyway. This fella's quite badly hooked, unfortunately. He's got a whole panel rig down his mouth, so I'm going to try to get him de-hooked and get him back in the sea. I think this is going to be the last fish for the night, so hope you guys have enjoyed watching, and uh, hit that subscribe button for more.